Let's visualize the velocity vectors on this plane. I will turn off the pressure contours and I will input a vector object and I'll call it velocity vectors on plane and say OK and location will be plane 1 and let me say apply. So that's showing me all the you know the velocity vectors and again the range is is global so let me change so I go to color and say give me the range make the range to be local. That'll bring out you know the variation better because it's it's uh, you know the range shown over here is only the range of velocities on that plane. And if I turn, I can see this see this a little bit better um, by turning off the plane and going to symbols. And let me make the symbols a little bit smaller. So I'll say 0.5. And if I, I zoom out a little bit, I can see, you know, you can play with the, with the view and you can see where the relative velocity is coming in. So the wind is coming from in the minus z direction and the airfoil is moving in this direction. So the relative wind is coming due to the airfoil motion is coming from here. And so the net relative wind is in that direction. And the lift force, by definition, is perpendicular to the direction of the, the free stream. So the lift, lift is in that direction. And I can also visualize this side by side with the pressure. So I'll say, give me two windows. And don't synchronize visibility in displayed views, but turn on synchronize camera and go to view 2 and view 2 turn on the pressure contours and if I zoom in here it'll give me the same view in both and by comparing these two you know you can get um, insights into what the flow the velocity and the pressure are doing in that particular plane and where you expect the lift and, and drag to be